Why did John enter Wellington High School as a cripple? Now, this one, I thought everybody had the same idea based on the story that was told with how... Uh, I thought everyone had the same idea based on the story that was told in the beginning how John was acting. See, John didn't act like a cripple, not because he didn't know how cripples act, but because he was trying to do something different. So this is my theory on why John entered Wellington as a cripple based on uh, the stories, you know, how John was uh, interacting with the high tiers in the beginning of the story. So first things first is that school, cripple, right? Past that, done. Uh, John, I believe he entered as a cripple because he read the book Unordinary. So he comes out of high school, I mean, sorry, he comes out of middle school, he's strong, whooped everybody's ass, you know, beat him to a pulp, he's like, ah, uh, you know, the authorities come, they talk to him, hey, John, we're gonna put you through some, uh, you know, whatever, whatever the, the, the detective dude did with John, I, I forget what he did, but I know he did something to John, it helped John, and what helped John the most was his dad writing the book Unordinary, what I think is that John entered as a cripple because he wanted to make people high tiers be the hero john had to play a role in unordinary he could either be the low tier that gets protected or he could be the high tier that protects the low tier the only thing was in their society uh this is all theory it's all theory don't me don't me chopping at my neck so the thing is if he plays the high tier and he protects the low tier in their society, all the other high tiers would talk to John and be like, why are you doing this? You don't have to do this. And it'll be just like how Ray was. And they'll be like, this school is in chaos because you're trying to for Ray did from this position. Uh, Remy's brother, Ray was the one like, hey, us high tiers have to look out for the lower tier so no one gets bullied because he also read Unordinary. He played that part as the hero from the high tier position. John wanted to play the low tier position i have no powers so one of the scenes we see early is that john is getting uh pinned against the wall outside of school and seraphina walks by and john can defend himself we know john has powers but he entered as a cripple so instead of uh of defending himself he asks seraphina for help hey sarah Hey, you, could you help me? I'm getting beat up. Everybody knows I'm a cripple. And Sarah's like, and just kept walking. And then John was like, oh, okay. I see what this is. Because <laughs> John, John be mad as hell. I see what this is. I think he like punched one dude and he knocked the other dude off. And Sarah looked back. She's like, damn, how you do that? He whooped both of the ass real quick. Then he ran by he ran by Sarah and hit her with the signature line. Trash. <laughs> he hit my girl with the signature line. Trash. And then after a while, you see John always playing the low tier, but whenever he's getting bullied and someone walks by, he always asks for help. He's like, hey, could you help me? And then after they don't end up helping him, he calls them trash. So John is playing. I believe, from the low part, and he's trying to coerce the higher tiers into helping him. Also, this can be seen as evidence of, as him befriending high tiers. When him and Serafina finally got to a point where they became friends, uh, Serafina did not mind that he was a low tier. He didn't. She didn't mind that he was a low tier. And John was essentially protected because you don't mess with the low tiers friend because then the high tiers gonna come whoop your ass. But uh john befriended her she wasn't so much trash really cool kept john grounded and john's still the cripple who needs to be helped from a high tier so he's playing this role in unordinary just like in the book where he's the low tier and he has a high tier that protects him so that the mid tiers don't come mess with him this can also be seen when he tries to befriend arlo he tries his hardest to befriend arlo too there was some moments that are that arlo you know everybody's calling him aslo y'all remember that aslo in the beginning so aslo 
or uh, my man Arlo was just being a high tier bully. He's a normal high tier bully. He, you know, uses power. He's the strongest one in the school. He gets what he wants. And John, who's crippled, no powers, is just like, hey, we can be friends just because our power levels are different. Doesn't mean we have to have this this evil relationship where this submissive and dominant relationship where you gotta whoop my ass just to get what you want. You already stronger than me. You know you can whoop my ass. Why you gotta? Why you gotta? Why you gotta do it? You know what I'm saying? John don't want to get his ass whooped, but he was he was doing it for a long time. So they're playing the story from different roles. I believe John uh, enrolled as a cripple because he wanted to play the part of unordinary and try to coerce the high tiers that hey look, I'm gonna call out for help and to see if you guys have a heart, have a soul to actually be able to come out and help me. And I think Remy is one person that eventually learns this without even reading the story. She actually starts to see what's going on and she has she has a heart about it. She's like, oh my gosh, like one time when, you know, when John got knocked down by Blake, I think. No, 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 it was different. Rem- John was getting bullied at some point because John always gets bullied. And they whooped his ass. And Remy, this is the part she realized, like, damn, this is how it is for low tears. They just get their ass whooped. There's nobody to help. And Remy had a little change of heart. She ran in. She was like, John, are you okay? But John was pissed. He's, wow, slap Remy. I don't need your help, trash. (laughs) John be wildin', man. (laughs) And Blake was mad. Blake came over there. How dare you slap Remy, you crippled trash, you crippled piece of shit. He comes over and he does something to John. Or what I, I don't remember. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of chapter. He does something to John. And <laughs> this is the point where John doesn't have the book unordinary anymore. So he has nowhere to go back to, to re-empower his nice gelled hair character anymore. So he's just losing it. He's losing his edge. He's tired of getting bullied. Before he had the book. So whenever he get bullied, he can go back, read the book, know why he's doing this. He could re-center himself on why his reasons, reinforce his will to make it through getting his ass whooped by Zeke (laughs) every day at school. But once he lost that book, and he kept getting bullied, he was trying, he was trying, he stopped gelling his hair. Hey, look, people don't even care how good you look. Your boy John might be, he might be kind of handsome in his, in, his, in, his, in his world, you know, in his high school. They don't give a damn how he look. They said, what's that power level, homie? Because you about to catch these hands. <laughs> that's it. That's all they want. But basically, that's my theory. John wanted to play the low role of, uh, of Unordinary, the main character in Unordinary. And he wanted to be this low, weak cripple and another thing that can go with this uh just that can reinforce this is that john is not very good with power he uh he realizes that he's gonna go overboard so this is probably the he realizes this is the only role he can play in unordinary to try to change this school system by being the low person because if he's the high person he just gonna whoop all their ass he's like hey you ain't doing what i say it's, it's hands time. So he played the cripple role where Ray was criticized for playing. Ray was the king of the school and he was criticized for playing the high role where he was the superhero that was protecting the low, the low tiers. And he ended up dying uh, eventually when he tried to become a superhero and things like that. But um, Ray played that role of unordinary. Now John's playing this other role of unordinary. And it's a beautiful story all together. John's not very good with power, where Ray was trying to be friendly to every single person he knew. He was trying to take care of the low tiers, take care of the mid tiers, high tiers, and they could just live a normal school life. And he really wanted to change the world based on this book. John wanted to do the same thing, just from a different position. He's not very good at the high position. And it didn't end well for your boy. I thought... I thought everybody had the same theory as me, but I see there are a few different theories. Some people believe um, John did it for some other reasons. I actually have no idea what I, where I was going with that. Anyway, thank you boys for watching. We're going to talk some more about some unordinary uh, theories and all that good stuff later on. So you catch your boy later, man. I'm out.